Memorial Day weekend is just a couple of days away. Many of us will enjoy the weekend at a cookout or a day out on the water, but it's also important to remember what this day is all about. The Vietnam War ended more than 40 years ago. According to the VA, more than 3 million Americans were deployed to Southeast Asia during the war. More than 58,000 Americans went to Vietnam and never made it back home. Joanne Shirley and her brother Bobby grew up in Macon, Georgia. I only had one brother. He was two years older than me. We were, had a very close relationship. Bobby went to college, then to medical school. In September of 1972, he joined the Air Force. A few months later, he was sent to Vietnam. It was raging, and he said, you know, if I don't go ahead and do it, they're going to draft me out of my residency, and then, you know, I'd have to start all over again. But Major Bobby Marvin Jones never made it back home. He was on a flight to Da Nang, and they had to clear a mountain before making their landing. There's no justification about what happened to him. What I believe happened is that they clipped the top of that mountain and crashed. I believe um, that somebody um, found those remains and buried them. So excited to be back with you. I got lunch all laid out. Okay. All you got to do is fix your plate, stuff it down. It was the loss of a close member of her family that led her to this family. MA family members often feel isolated, that the only people that really understand are other MA family members. Carity Forrester's father was also killed in Vietnam. She has no idea what happened to him. No resolution at all, no. Carity and Joanne met while working with the National League of POW MIA families, and now Carity spends every Memorial Day as a part of Run for the Wall. When I first uh, participated and saw that there's all these people that still care, I was blown away. This is a group of veterans, families, and anyone who wants to ride. They travel across the country to Washington, D.C. to honor veterans and service members. They used to stop in Chattanooga every year. Now they come here to eat with Joanne, and then they go to the gardens, an assisted living facility, to see Joanne's mother. She said about six or seven years ago, we're going to make a little detour and come through because we want to see your mom. The people on this ride say this is a big reason they do this. She's not alone with her and her daughter in that fight and her family, that there's thousands of us that think of her, that share her struggle, that don't forget. As we get closer to this Memorial Day, these people are thinking about what this day is all about, honoring the people who have served our country and never made it back home. I learned very quickly that this is not just about my brother Bobby. It's about all our guys that are missing, and it's about all our servicemen today, that we have an obligation to never leave them behind. According to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency's website, 82,000 Americans are still missing, dating all the way back to World War II. The run for the wall happens every year on Memorial Day. More than 1,600 people are riding across the country right now. We'll meet in Washington, D.C. this weekend. Their mission is all about honoring our nation's veterans and service members. And as we told you earlier, the run for the war, motorcycle.